Hi guys, Spartan765 here today. Um, today I'm not doing a review, I'm kind of doing a rant video. Um, pretty much going over stupid people attempting to do gunsmithing. Um, or not even necessarily gunsmithing, just replacing parts and guns in general. Um, this video is going to center on pretty much one topic. Um, one particular part that I see, uh, well not, I don't see myself, but uh, I see a lot of people on the internet, uh, you know, saying that this can be done and that it's possible and that it's fine. And and that is, honestly, um, you know, it's it's retarded. It's it's completely ridiculous, and it can cause you to get hurt if you uh, do this conversion. Um, and that can that is, I mean, for these example, we're going to use a Glock. Um, but you know, people are saying you can do this with XD or doing this with XDs um, and MPs. And that is taking the barrel out of a Glock. Oh, by the way, these are all unloaded. Um, that is taking the barrel out of a Glock 17. Like I said, we're using Glocks for this example, but this can apply to MMPs and XDs. Taking a 9mm barrel out of a Glock 17 and putting it in a Glock 22. Pretty much what I'm covering here is these dipshit, retarded idiots taking a 9mm barrel and thinking that it will function safely and fine in a 40 caliber pistol. Now, these idiots are honestly causing a whole bunch of havoc as far as, you know, in the in the forums and gun board community and all this other crap, you know, these other forums that you you know that you look at. And it also affects the availability of parts for people who, you know, know what they're doing when they, you know, work on guns like me or, you know, other people. There's other guys on YouTube who know what they're doing, too. Um, you know, I wanted to order a new barrel for my Smith & Wesson um, MMP40. Couldn't find them on Midway USA, Brown Alley, anything sold out, sold out, sold out. So I called Smith & Wesson, and I said, hey, you know, I got a uh, barrel here. It's got some chipping on the crown. I want a, uh, I was wondering if I could buy a new barrel from you guys. And they're like, well, we sell all gun parts but the barrels. And I said, well, why is that? And they go, well, there's a bunch of people on YouTube and the internet saying you could swap a 9mm barrel with a 40 or vice versa, and people are doing that and then getting hurt, and so we're not, we don't sell barrels to the general public anymore. I'm like, oh, wow. So because of some stupid idiots, I can't get the gun parts I need? You know? So I had to send my M&P into Smith & Wesson to have the barrel replaced. So, I mean, I've, I haven't had my M&P now for about a month because, you know, how slow, you know warranty work is on guns but anyway so what I'm trying to say here is no matter what anybody tells you do not put a nine millimeter barrel in a 40 Smith & Wesson you are taking okay for an example here I'm gonna use snap caps okay you have a nine millimeter here that is the the, uh, the uh, diameter of the barrel of the gun is nine millimeters the diameter of the actual bullet is just slightly larger than nine millimeters so it will you know, grab, grasp into the rifle into the barrel. Now, here we have a 40 Smith & Wesson bullet with a diameter of the, the bore, bore diameter of, that's a 17, with a bore diameter of 10 millimeters. Okay. Now, when you look at these two rounds, obviously the bullet's slightly larger than 10 millimeters, um, so grasp into the rifling. But when you, when you look at these two rounds here, look, look at these. This is a bigger round, right? Look at the uh, back of the round. Notice how much bigger the 40 is than the 9mm. Now, these idiots, they're not even thinking about anything. They take a 9mm, but oh, it looks like it fits. Well, if you look at the, the width of the barrel up here where this, where this tab is, where it locks it, where it uh, slides up the breech, locks in right up here, as you can see, the 40 is wider than the 9mm. Now, you put a 9mm barrel in there, it's going to be ha it's gonna have slop. The firing pin hole isn't going to line up. The nothing pretty nothing lines up. Um, if you do that, your firing pin will strike way off to the side of the primer. Um, there's too much slop in between. Pretty much what happens is the gun recoils prematurely, causing massive amounts of fire and hot fucking powder to go right into the magazine and blow the gun up because the gun recoils too early. Or the gun completely just fails. Because, you know, you can't, the tolerances aren't there, the gun isn't designed for that, so it can't handle the pressures. Not saying, I'm sa not saying a 40 has less pressure than a 9mm, and a 9mm has more pressure than a 40, because it doesn't. 
but it wasn't designed to handle the, the force wasn't designed to be applied in that way on the firearm is what I'm trying to say um, and like what I say is, is because there's all that sloppy tolerance in there when you put the 9 millimeter in the 40 it'll cause the um, from what I can understand it'll cause the, the slide to go back prematurely pushing all the powder and all that crap and all the, the fire down into the magazine causing the magazine to blow up okay now obviously this doesn't happen with every single person that's an idiot and does this conversion you know because not every single time you know there's a you know there could be a crack in a, a case or something that could cause it to blow up or you know the, the, the bullet couldn't be fully seated around the case which would cause it to blow up I mean but I mean it's just unsafe people are blowing their hands up not blowing their hands off but injuring their hands to the point where you know they can't they have to be in a cast or they can't use their hand for a month and a half or longer I mean seriously people come on think before you do something I mean do not do not ever take a gun part that is not designed for the firearm and put it in another and put it in that firearm only use approved parts from the manufacturer or parts that are designed specifically for that firearm for that location don't jerry rig stuff and think you know what you're doing and i've seen this i've seen this more often too with shotguns people will just basement gunsmith the crap you know together on shotguns they have no idea what they're doing I've seen scope mounts taped onto guns I mean that's not going to cause a, a harmful failure but taped onto guns like literally I've seen I've seen scopes literally taped to the top of guns it's pretty sad um, but if you don't know what you're doing that doesn't mean you're ignorant ignorant is doing something incorrectly you know and thinking it's okay if you don't know what you're doing or you're not experienced with maintaining firearms, that's fine. Have somebody who knows what they're doing work on your gun for you or teach you how to work on your gun. Okay, like I understand and most other people that are very familiar with maintaining firearms understands that not everybody has the knowledge, will, or skill to completely maintain gunsmith and alter firearms in a safe way. Um, you know, when I say alter firearms, I mean like drilling and tapping for a scope mount or, you know, cutting a compensating groove into a barrel or something like that. So that's what I mean by altering the firearm, you know, like putting a scope mount on where you're actually doing um, physical removal of material, you know. But, I mean, then again, and that's another thing that, you know, people are idiots about too. If you get these people that go, they'll go and they'll cut... Uh, you know, a muzzle break into the end of their fucking rifle barrel, and they don't even have a clue what they're doing. They'll take a hacksaw and cut it into a Dremel. Not only does that, you know, can cause the barrel to fail um, if you, if it's done improperly, but it also craps the accuracy of your gun. I mean, because you're cutting the groove directly into the rifling. I mean, on a rifle, on a pistol, yeah, they're, they're done like that. You know, like on the Glock, the Glock 17 Cs, you know, the compensated versions, but they're cut specifically so they don't alter the bullet path too much. Now, anything cut into the rifling is going to alter the path of the bullet, slightly. But when it's done improperly at the end of a muzzle on a hunting rifle, it can crap your accuracy from one inches at 100 meters to two and a half, three feet at 100 meters or worse. Um, and I've seen that too. I've seen somebody, you know, who's I've seen it. I don't know the person, but I was at the range one time, and he had a he had a groove cut in his my rifle for a muzzle break, and he couldn't hit dog shit. So, yeah. Basically, the, the purpose of this video is be safe. Don't do stuff that you are not 100% sure your gun will function safely. Um, and if you don't know what you're doing or you don't 100% know it's safe, um, have someone who knows what they're doing, work on your gun for you, or just don't alter your gun. Okay? Just don't alter your gun. Um, my best advice is when a part fails in a gun, like let's say your extractor breaks, um, replace it with the factory OEM part. Don't go out and buy these titanium, you know, these titanium firing pin plungers, you know, the plungers that the firing, the drop safety on your firing pin for your Glock. Don't go out and buy those titanium things. They're crap. They are crap. They are not as hard as steel. They're harder than aluminum, but they're not as hard as steel. Okay. They wear out quicker. And by the time they wear out quicker, your gun is no longer drop safe.
you know, to say the least. Because um, the, the fire striker can literally just ride right over it. That's another thing I've seen. Okay. Titanium firing pins. They're another joke. Don't buy them. Go with the OEM firing pins or precision steel firing pins. Do not go titanium firing pins. Titanium anything on guns, I, I'm just against it. I think it's crap. It, it's all crap. Um, but yeah, that, that it's just a marketing thing. Oh, titanium lighter, lighter, lighter. If you're worried about one, one or two grams of weight, really, come on. All right. But anyway, that's the rant. You guys got any comments, questions, send me a message, Spartan765, out.